What's up guys, Shane Stars here with Droid Modder X and most modern flagship phones today have some sort of water protection built into the phone. The most common waterproof ratings or water resistance ratings today are IP67, which you'll find on devices like the iPhone 10, and IP68 water resistance, which you'll find on phones like the Galaxy S9, the LG G7, and other top tier flagship phones. So the main difference between these two ratings, IP67 can protect your phone up to three feet of water for up to 30 minutes. IP68 can actually protect your phone in more than 30 feet of water for more than half of an hour and that has to be specified by the manufacturer. And the common misconception is that the IP rating makes the phone waterproof and that is just not the case. Apple on their website even says do not submerge their phones in water because you can't really rely on that IP67 rating. In fact, they're saying this is just built in as an added layer of protection. If you happen to be outside in the rain, you don't have to worry about your phone just being destroyed destroyed. Uh, if you leave your phone in your pants pocket and it accidentally goes into the washing machine, this IP rating may or may not protect your phone. Max Lee actually uploaded a video not too long ago where he did in fact put a phone with an IP68 water resistance rating into a washing machine for a full wash cycle. The phone was able to survive with no issues. To be clear, one thing that these water resistance ratings do not account for is anything other than fresh clean water. So if you were to spill a soda on your phone, if you were to submerge your phone in salt water, none of these things are covered in these IP ratings. Being that we're in the middle of summer, you may want to do some things with your phone that include salt water. Maybe you want to go snorkeling. Not too long ago, my wife and I went to Playa del Carmen, and that was the main thing that we did while we were there is we went snorkeling. In order to use the phone in the water, you can't really do it without some sort of protection. Another video that my buddy Max Lee uploaded uh, was showing what happened to his phones when he took them snorkeling uh, without any kind of protection, just relying on the water resistance. Salt water happens to be very corrosive and it eats away at the ceilings and it can cause severe damage to your phone. Today I'm going to show you guys one of the easiest ways to protect your phone in salt water when you're doing those salt water activities. Big shout outs to Ranvu for sponsoring this video and stick around to the end and I'll have a bit of a giveaway as well. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, so here I have the cell phone pouch by Ranvu, and this is made for protecting your phone in water situations. Even if you do have that IP rating on your phone, it's not 100% reliable, and you'll need something like a cell phone pouch. Now, there are other alternative methods for protecting your phone. There are things like the LifeProof case. Even Ghost Tech has a case uh, for protecting your phone from water. The one problem that I have with those case options is that they don't really account for buoyancy so those things will sink to the bottom of the ocean if you were to drop them. This pouch, one of the things that I really love about the pouch is that it adds a little bit of buoyancy to your device. So real quickly we'll take a look at the pouch and then we'll test it out. So you'll see that it comes with a lanyard strap so you can actually hang this thing from your neck. So it comes with a little lanyard strap here and then it comes with a wrist strap. So either of these would connect through the top. There's a little slot right here. Or you can use the slot here on the back. Of course, that also would work as a belt loop if you had some kind of utility belt while you were diving. Okay, so we'll go ahead and put our LG G7 inside the case. I love the fact that this thing is foolproof. So with some of the cases, it does have a seal, but if you don't snap every single part of the seal, then the water can leak in. Here it's foolproof. You don't have to worry about snapping anything down. There are just these two little latches that you snap into place. Once these are snapped, then your phone is totally sealed and waterproof. So we'll go ahead and, and undo the latches here. We'll slide in our phone. All right, and then you just line up the little notches with the two holes there. And then just snap them down into place. And that gives your phone a great seal. Now you can actually, you can still use the phone while it's in the pouch. So it's not like you're totally unable to use your phone. You can still use your phone so you can use this as a camera. Uh, you can video record while underwater. So we'll go ahead and break out some salt water and do an actual salt water test 
with the pouch. All right, so we've got a bowl of water here and I've got salt. And if you're in the ocean, of course, the salt content is huge. But we'll just add some salt in here just for this little test here. I know this is not very scientific, but this is just a quick little demonstration. All right, and we'll go ahead and toss the phone in the water. And as you can see, the pouch actually adds a bit of buoyancy. So the phone's not just going to sink to the bottom of the water like a rock. If you're out in the ocean and a wave crashes into your face, you drop your phone, that phone's probably gone forever. You're probably not gonna be able to recover your phone. With a pouch, it's gonna float. So at least you'll be able to see it. You can swim over and grab it or whatever. You'll probably be more likely to find your phone with a solution like this. Once again, even if it gets completely submerged, it's not gonna fill up with water. You don't see any bubbles or anything like that because it's not filling up with water. It is protecting your phone from that salt water and you'll be able to use the phone while it's in the pouch. All right, so we'll go ahead and take the phone out of the pouch and see how well the pouch was able to protect it from the salt water. Okay, and not a drop of water, not a drop of water inside the pouch. All right, so the pouch has done its job in keeping the phone super dry. So I mentioned that if you stuck around to the end of the video, I would do a quick giveaway for you guys. Renvu was nice enough to send out these awesome car mounts. And if you make sure to leave a comment on this video and then also like the video, you will be entered to win one of these three car mounts. Real quickly, I'll take it out of the box so you can kind of see what's going on here. All right, so basically what you have here is you have a vent clip. So this will just clip on directly to your AC vent. You've got these little metal plates that just stick on to the back of your phone. So you would first use these little patches here to clean the back of your phone to get any kind of grime that would cause that plate to not stick. And then you pull off the little 3M tape here and then the little plate just sticks on to the back of your phone like so. And that's thin enough that it's still going to be able to go inside of your case. So you can just put your case directly over this little plate and then you'll see that you get a good, solid, firm grip out of that car mount. It's not going anywhere, yet you're still able to just easily rotate 360. So if you want to win one of these awesome magnetic car mounts, head to the comment section and leave a comment and like the video and you will be automatically entered to win. That about wraps it up for this video. If you liked the video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel for more content like this in the future. You can find more of me at droidmoderx.com. Follow me on Twitter at droidmoderx. Thanks guys for watching. Be blessed. I'll see you in the next one.